Very quick update here. I am updating the FPV camera holder that I designed for uh, the, the Inspire 2. So I'm putting the DJI, I have put the DJI uh, FPV Air unit on my Inspire 2 so I can fly with goggles now and also send picture out to the smart controller. Uh, I have much better FPV camera than what's built in there. Uh, but my angle wasn't adjustable. So before I put this together, I wanted to show you what I've done is I've separated these pieces. This is one of the arms that, that goes onto the Inspire. And then this is where the, uh, the camera goes in. And so I've just got a, I've got an M3 screw that fits through there. And then in the, in the bottom part here, you can see that there's a hole here for, for this screw, but then this is adjustable. So I'll be able to basically uh, adjust my ca camera angle from straight ahead to up 20 degrees, 5 degrees at a time. And that should be enough that when I'm, you know, moving forward, uh, generally, you know, with FPV quads, you always have the camera pointed up a bit because you're you're always moving forward. So when I fly the Inspire, I was finding that uh, I was having a hard time going fast, and that thing will go up to 55, um, but just because I was looking at the ground, it was freaking me out. So this is gonna, this is gonna fix that for me. Okay, here we go. So what I'm gonna do is put washers on. And then go through here, and then go through there. I'm not going to clamp that down, definitely, because first thing I want to do here is check my adjustable angle situation and what's the best way to adjust it all right there we go so that is level you can see maybe you can see five little increments of five degrees each and now it's aimed up 20 degrees so let's put it on the Inspire and see how it looks okay and there's the old one And again, if, if any of you don't know this, the, uh, the built-in FPV camera on here is super low res, very, very grainy, and not adjustable in any way. So if you got to do any snow flying and it's really bright, you just get white out. It's horrendous. So this is usually better done heated, actually. I'm going to... I'm going to heat this part. I'll be right back. All right, that's a little trick I learned from Neil at Catalyst Machine Works. Whenever you're doing anything with TPU, just heat it up. Put your piece in. I also want to be careful here not to screw up the camera first time I put it in or pull that cable too hard. But yeah, if you, if you heat up your part the first time, then it'll seat. And then it'll sort of form fit as it cools. Next time it'll fit even better. So that's how it's going to sit. I'll zip tie it on. Gotta go between those. There we go.
All right, here we go. That's both sides the same. Got fumbly fingers happening. See, it's very improved over design number one. Now what I can do, snap those back, now it's pointed up, there you can see, let's see, we can adjust our angle pretty easily now, just kind of snaps like that. So that's straight. That's straight. There we go. That's straight. There's five degrees. Ten degrees. Sorry. Five ten. Five ten. Fifteen. Oh yeah, I don't have twenty degrees. I have fifteen degrees. Which I think I, I just decided uh, while I was doing it that would be plenty. If I need to though, I can always easily add two or three more notches here just by extending this groove. That little groove right there will be very easy to set up as many degrees as I want basically all right well there you have it that's the Inspire 2 with DJI air unit camera rig all set up custom I'll put the links to the updated Thingiverse file below as well as uh, the link to the full how-to video that I posted on this thing and uh, you can do it yourself enjoy oh yeah don't forget to like this video if you dig it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. See ya.